anong mas madali? Baguhin mo yung nation, makipagbati ka sa kapatid mo. Na matagal kayong dibate. Hmm. Hirap na na. Awkward. Hmm. Magpasorry ka sa nanay mo na galit ka. Hindi, hmm. tuman, madali. Ang dami namamatay sa labas. Tama, I agree. Pero, again, but kung kung papunta ka doon, ito, dapat ito solve mo na. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot skip that. There you go, I say it! Oh! But again, we have to bloom where we are planted. The job that you pick is an important factor of your life, but that should not be the determining factor of how you define yourself. Kaya kami toxic eh, kasi we expect perfection. Minsan pala yung kailangan lang is available. What's up everyone? Welcome sa panibagong episode and this is... Kwento Juan! Kung saan, pagkukwentohan natin anything under the, the swan. swan. <laughs> the swan. 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 Under the swan. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Welcome to another episode where we're gonna talk about uh, topics, about life, about living, about purpose, about uh, everything. Everything. Yeah. everything. Something fun. Yeah. yeah, something fun. And super excited ako. Bakit? Dahil, Kasi nag-reply na siya sa'yo? Hindi, dahil sa guest natin. Oh. Ay, sorry naman yun. Dahil sa guest natin. Ang pagkakaalam ko, yung guest natin ngayon, oh. medyo, medyo matabil. Ano yun? <laughs> matabil yung labi. Ay, bro. Hindi, <laughs> pag matabil yung labi, mag, mag ganun. Ah. Di ba? Di ba, pag sabing, matabil yung labi ng bata na to. Ma, ma, ganun. Maraming sinasabi. Maraming sinasabi. Kasi, Pero, he's very talkative. And since, oh. my sense. Yes. Oh, yes. Yun naman ang yes. maganda doon. At syempre, ang motto natin sa Kwento Juan is Substance over Status. Wow. Mm. Nice. Uh, diba? Sa Tagalog. Sa Tagalog. Sustansya. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Nutrients <laughs> yun eh. Ah, mali. Di bali Laman. ng malaman. Di bali ng hindi... Eh, what? Basta? <laughs> substance Anong over status. Sa oh, oh, kung okay, ano ba yung okay, ibig sabihin okay. ng substance over status. Sa Ayan. At ayan, na unang clue ay siya isang kapampangan. Yes. Okay, ano at, wow. at sikat na sikat siya sa YouTube. Okay, dahil yes. sa mga kapampangan videos niya. Yes. Wherein ginagaya niya lagi yung nanay niya. Kung paano okay. magsalita, paano maneremon, paano mamalo, paano mag, ma, maging stricto. Ganyan. So, mas medyo, ma, medyo maganon siya. Ma mm-hmm. Family, ganyan. Tapos, isa pa sa favorite niyang gawin ay kumain. Kumain. <gasps> Kaya so, naman, masarap talaga kumain. Oo, lalo na mag enjoy siya dito sa coffee project. Oh, kasi yes. bukod sa masarap ang coffee dito, bukod sa masarap ang pagkain dito, masarap magkwentohuan dito. Yes, oh, sir! Masok. Tu, 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 tu. Si mga DJ, di ba? Tu, 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 tu. Ano pang hinihintay natin? Sweldo. Sana <laughs> i-deposito na ang sweldo natin. Oh, wala pa. Huwag <laughs> na natin ito patagalin pa. Let's go. Oh, welcome. Jericho Arceo! What's up, bro? What's up, what's up, bro? Sir, sir. Welcome to Kwento Juan, Welcome Jericho. Welcome to show ko. Ay, sir. <laughs> sir, sir. Congressman Jericho. Ayan. Ayan, isuot mo na. Um, you know? Ayan. Wow. Um, Welcome to Wish 107. <laughs> Wish ko lang. <laughs> wow. It's an honor, sir. Bro, how are you? It's been a long time. Long time, long time. Grabe. But pasmado ka. Sir, Dejo ko lang. Iba ka nyo. Kamsa, kamsa ka, bro. <laughs> Uh, it's an honor, sir. Pangarap ko pong mapunta dito. <laughs> it's an honor, sir. Pero na-appreciate ko si Jericho all the way to from Pampanga. Pampanga. Yeah. Yeah. When Lapit lang here. Siya. Lapit oh. lang, di ba, Josh? Oh. Hmm. Kasi nandito tayo ngayon sa Coffee Project Pampanga. Eh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dejo ka. Right. Para sa mga uh, first-time viewers natin, si Jericho ay kaibigan na namin noong noon noon pa. As in 1940. 20- Hindi naman, 2018? Oh, 2018. Mm. Three, three years na? Three years, bro. In the making. Yeah. <laughs> and Jericho has been has been our the guy who who have always vocally supported us. Now, speaking of uh, friendship <laughs> and support, may mga papakita na kami yung photo sa Jericho oh, oh. that you might recognize. And tignan lang natin kung right. naaalala mo pa talaga kami or masyado mm-hmm. ka ng... Parang baliktad. <laughs> Parang baliktad. The first yeah. photo. Oh yeah, my no? gosh. Grabe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Galit siya. <laughs> yes, sir. Ayan. Awesome. Isabella. Isabella, no? Oh, Isabella. Mm. Nung nag-wakeboard tayo. Ayan. Kasi Japs lang yung success. Nakatayo. <laughs> 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 oh, ano? Sayang ano. ano yun. Si Japs lang nag-enjoy <laughs> eh. <laughs> Roy BDR. The one and only Dave Ray. Ito kami sa Jupiter. Ano? The new endorser. Ah. 
Take up channel. RJ Cruz. Wala po sa Sicho Pilapil. <laughs> Si Japso. Si Japso siya nag-enjoy. <laughs> Kasi siya lang may kaya. Ang hirap kaya nun. Sure, yung wakeboard, ginawa niyang diving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, tao lang. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Oh, pero si Jerry ko talaga, ano to, nagtotalk, di ba? Nag-TED Talks ka pa, di ba? Oo. Mm. Mm. Actually, pinapanood ko yung kahapon. Bro, uh, ang hirap nun kasi pure English. Medyo napasabak ako doon. You know what I'm saying? Oo. Yung you know ko, bro. Marami. Uh, <laughs> kasi you already you know talaga. Diba? I know. So when you know, <laughs> know, you have to say you know, you know, you know. Right? Right, right. Para right. din may, may you right. know nila. Right. Right, left. Right. 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 <laughs> you know? Okay, Kaya next. Kaya yun yung sinasama yeah. pag-fraud ka, di ba? You know. <laughs> Salamat okay. po. Okay, next photo next tayo. Photo, next photo. Yon. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Tapos yun pa rin yung suot mo doon. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Actually. May consistency kasi. Hindi kasi may washing machine sila. Mm, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Maybe si Josh, oh. Oh, ito, naalala ko to. This was Event June 2. Event. Event. June 2, 2018. 19. 19. 19. 19. bro. Yun yung... Post ko ano, pa rin. Post opin- pa ako dyan. Opening yun ng We Are The Ones. Kasi ah, yung June okay. 2, 2019. <laughs> yun na yung closing. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> yung bagong... Convergence. Uh-oh. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, I remember. Tapos, in-invite ka dyan. Yung bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko ba, bro, di ako kumanta. Hindi, bro, ikaw bala. Lahat sila singer, bro, ako hindi. <laughs> ano yung sabihin ng di ako maanta? Ah, huh? kumakanta. Ah, di ako kumakanta. Nasa short na ako kapangan, di ako kumakanta. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ma- ah, di ako kumakanta. Sorry, tao lang. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, kagagaling. Kaya lang akala ko ibang lingwahe. Kagagaling sa LX eh. LX. Okay, LX. Lama ba siya sa balito kay Axit? May Jack Laga Wex. Shout out ka rin ka Balem. Uminom lang siya pala Axit. Si Anja ko na. Okay, so ito yun. Di dyan din bumirit yung si Janine. Janine, oo. At actually, tinuruan ko siya. She picked up very quick. Wow. wow! Two minutes. Yeah. De, pero gusto ko lang i-explain na ganun talaga mag-effort si Jerry ko sa mga friends niya. Mm-hmm. Talagang pinupuntahan niya. Ganun yeah. ka pumunta siya sa Bulacan naman para sa atin. Hindi, uh, may death threat dyan. <laughs> joke. <laughs> death threat? Joke lang, daddy. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just Next kidding. photo. Yeah, no? Yeah. Yan. Ay, oh. saan yan? Ito yung nagpapagaling ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, hindi. Ito, same place sa Victory Malolos. Mm. Doon natin ginawa yung umaga, umaga live. live. Umaga live. Daming kumaling dyan, ha? <laughs> Parang lumulutang ka nga dyan. sa mga, ano, sa uh, mga... Mga hurts. heartbreak. Oh. Kasi kumanta ng hugot song. And then, dyan yun din sinot yung nag-viral na hatid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hatid. Oh, oh. Actually, itong... Sinundo ano, ko dun eh. <laughs> ah, <laughs> itong uh, Umaga Live, syempre alam natin, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-major markers ng uh, ating uh, buhay bilang banda. Talaga napaka-major event for us. Yeah. Uh, at kasama din si Jerry ko dun. Mm. Kasi naging uh, supporter natin siya. Talagang nag-host siya, di ba? Siya yung nag-hype ng mga tao. Mm. Kaya medyo nung una, manlanlata talaga. <laughs> Pero nung nandun na si Jericho, talaga namang... Nanlanta oh, lalo. <laughs> hindi, talaga na-hype sila bro. Na-hype sila. Mm. Thanks Tas, for eh, inviting me man. Hello, tiga mo naman itsura na yun. Hindi ka makahype dyan. Hindi mm. ka matatakot, di ba? <laughs> Gumaling! Hey, niya, pag hindi kayo humayp, yari kayo sa akin. Yeah, yeah. No, but Jericho is really supported. And, yeah. and yeah. we yeah. appreciate that about you. Kaya naman, when we started, you know, thinking about doing this Kwento Hual, uh, the very top in mind person to have in the show is sure. no other than Jericho Rosales. Talaga. Echo. Yeah, yeah. Bis- busy siya. Uh, so, uh, Jerico, see, I say yun. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> joke lang, bro. We love you so much. Yeah. We appreciate so you, man. <laughs> and, 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 and uh, he's very funny as you know. Uh, tinanong siya sa Itbulaga ano course niya. Golf course daw. Lasa lang ako, bro. Eh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pala, pala, pala. Uh, so today, we will just talk about your life and your story. Yeah. And pagchichismasa natin ng konti yung buhay mo. Uh, hopefully, we get something out of it. Uh, but uh, he's not just very funny. Okay? But he's also very bold about uh, his faith, his beliefs, and uh, the things that he wants to share in this generation. Uh, he's one of the parang relevant voices of our generation. Especially yes. sa mga kabataan sa 
Bulacan. Seto. <laughs> Bulacan, Pampanga, ganyan. Actually, ano na to? Youth leader na to. Yes. Oh. At hindi lang, hindi lang local, ha? Original. Hindi <laughs> 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 lang local, national. National, bro, di ba? A Central Luzon. Mm, Luz, yeah, yung saan niya. Luzon. 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 So, we're gonna learn from you. Pero, bago ang lahat, kakamustahin ka lang namin yes. muna. Since, uh, lahat tayo nag-stay at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Diba? Bawal mm-hmm. lumabas. Mm-hmm. How uh, was your... Time. Ay, sorry, sorry. Go, go, go. <laughs> start our question. <laughs> para naman, ano, maka-start na tayo ng... Starter, eh. starter, starter, eh. As you all know, nagka pandemic and all. So, kamusta in general? Kamusta naging quarantine life mo kasama yung family mo mm-hmm. and n- knowing na nagstay ka sa bahay. Thanks for that wonderful question. No, actually, na nag quarantine. Ngayon ko lang nalaman, may kapatid pa lang ako. <laughs> Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Kasi <laughs> reaction joke ka lang. lang. <laughs> Totoo ba? Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. Ah, ayun, siguro la- lahat naman yata tayo na ni Bago. No, before quarantine, marami tayong sa kapampaan na sasabi ko sa utak ko. Sa, <laughs> parang nanibago lahat tayo kasi nga ang dami nating plano, personal. Mm-hmm. And nung lahat yon na-cancel, siyempre normal yung maging anxious ka. Tapos nakulong ka pa sa bahay, di ba? yung jobs, the, uh, yung stability na ano, compromise. So, di ba, paano na tayo kakain, paano tayo mabubuhay, paano na lahat. So, I think marami, maraming naging anxious, especially me. Though ako, personally, sabi ko nga kay Lester kanina, bago pa yung 2020, 2019, alam, alam mo yun na bro, anxious na ako, hindi na ako lumalabas ng bahay. So, hindi ako nanibago when it comes to hindi na lumalabas. Pero yung urgency na kailangan mag-face mask uh, and all. Doon ako nanibago. So, mm. ayun. You know what I'm saying? And it's, um, it's interesting how a guy like you is always fun to be with, always mm. outgoing, very outspoken. Mm. Apparently, you you also went through anxiety. Mm. And ano sa ano ba yung mga bagay na nagpa-anxious sa inyo? Kasi baka marami sa mga viewers natin, listeners natin, na pinagdadaanan din pala yun, that they might find it weird yeah. na I'm very outspoken. I'm very. Mm-hmm. I'm a fun person to be with. But how come I can also be dealing with anxiety at the same time? Oh, bigat agad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, alam mo yon. Kasi nga nung uh, nung nagstart tao, kasama ako na si Carl. Tapos kayaon, di ba nagusa pa tayo, bro? Pero nani bago ko nun sa. Sure. Yung kaita nung sabiyan mo, di ba? It will impact a lot of people. And uh, whether you like it or not. Ma, parang ipopoliticize pa yung sasabihin mo in all that. So, parang in a nutshell, parang nag-ingat ako sa sasabihin ko para hindi ako maka-offend. Yun yung malaking part na nag-struggle ako. Yeah. It's not, uh, hindi na authentic yung voice ko eh. Parang it's more of pleasing people already. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung isang naging anxiety ko. Did that uh, stop you from being productive and creating? Naka-apekto ba yun sa overall productivity mo as an artist, as a as an influencer, as a vlogger. Sobra, sobra. Definitely, bro. As in, yung normal functions ko, normal functioning, hindi, naapektuhan talaga. Kala nga, muntik na ako mag-self-diagnose. Eh, syempre, sa mga psych majors dyan, bawal yon, di ba? Hmm. Pero, parang, napahisip ako, kung bira disorder ba to? Ano tong pinagdadaanan ko? Parang, alam mo yun, din, lahat ng self-help ginawa ko na. Exercise, eight hours of sleep and all, journaling and all. Eh, ganun, ganun ako naapektuhan. Tapos, kaya ako nag-stop masyado mag-post. Wala na akong gaan eh. And, ayun, parang naubos na burnout lang. Tapos sakto, last year, di ba, nag-podcast din kayo. Sinare ko lang din yung kalagitnaan ng struggle ko sa anxiety. Mm-hmm. So, it affected me. Especially how I treat the, the people around me sa pamilya ko. Kita nila paano ako na struggle, you know. But, sa awa ng ating uh, Panginoon, uh, unti-unti nakakabalik na ako. And ang, ang root nito, uh, base sa pakikinig ko sa'yo kanina, it's because uh, naging conscious ka about pleasing people and right. you didn't want to offend people. Mm. Right? So saan nanggaling yung consciousness na yun? Na parang all of a sudden, mm. you're so bold in, in declaring things yeah. and uh, you know your opinion about our society. Tapos biglang in once na, parang Right. Wait, na-conscious ako. Saan nagsimula yun? <laughs> Bro, that's a good question. Kasi connected. Di ba, naging people pleaser sa 
platform mm. uh, na it was more about catering what they need. Wanna but, hear. Uh-huh. Yeah. But really, I just want to maintain yung likes and all. Mm. Though analytics-wise, kailangan eh. Pero mm. naging ko ng identity, which is mm. wrong. Nakita ko na um, connected siya sa upbringing mo eh. Kasi back then when I was young, I was trying to be excellent because I want to please my parents. Mm. So nadala ko. Uh-huh. Nadala ko pagdating dun sa pag hindi ako naging excellent. Um, I'm not enough. Ganun. Mm. Ngayon ko lang na-realize, sobrang important din ng uh, family. Yeah. Pero kung di tayo lumaki sa normal na family, there's hope. But again, this is my dealing na wow. Kaya pala ako people pleaser kasi ganun ako. Mm. Nung the bata ako, grade conscious ako. Not because I love studying. Hindi. Ayoko. <laughs> Di ba? Kung may choice ka, ba't ako mag But it's because of, ah, lalo na sa Pilipinas ka, the pressure of being in a third world country, uh, white collar jobs, and mm. that that excellent you know what I'm saying paglaki mo doctor blah 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 blah, blah. Mm. doon doon yung root ko tas school owner pa kami so yung tita ko educator yan you know what I'm saying so kailangan ng excellent ka nadala ko yon hindi ko mm. sin- hindi ko sila sinisisi but mm. i i just uh, realize now na grabe formative years mo crucial yan and how you decide how you think mm. na experience mo ba yung ano parang may gustong force para sa yung parents mo yes sir okay yeah. sige share mo sa amin though lenient sila pero basta white collar jobs. Mm-hmm. Lenient okay. sila. Ikaw, businessman, teacher. Pero yung magaganda. May ah. choice para magaganda. Ah. <laughs> ano yung saan? Five star. Ah. <laughs> it, if, if the choice was really just up to you, anong pipili mo? Wala, bro. Ah, Wala. hindi ko mag-aaral. Wala. Oo. Kasi <laughs> nag-excel ako nun. Small school lang eh. Maliit lang mundo ko. Piling ko ako yung matalino nun. Kasi maliit lang mundo namin eh. Uh-huh. Nag-excel ako, pero wala akong plano. Parang, hmm. It's either sasabihin nila, oh, ayaw mo yung course na pinili namin. Ano yung, ano yung gusto mo? Hindi ko yun na lang. Kaya kasi nandun ko sa kanila. Yung mm. iba kasi sa atin, alam nila yung gagawin na nila. Di ba? Mm, yeah. mm. Ako hindi. So, hindi mo pwede rin, hindi ko rin pwedeng sabihin na pinilit ako. Mm. Kasi pinilit nila ako kasi wala akong gusto. <laughs> gusto ko lang na, ano gusto ko lang? Kumain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> August naman. Oh, oh, go, go. Pwede, 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 pwede. <laughs> Props lang yan, do. Pero sige. Ako gusto ko lang echo yung sinabi ni Jake. Kasi, nakaka-relate ako sa kanya na yung nung bata ako parang wala talaga akong in mind na gusto. Uh, uh, like for example, sinasabi ko lang na parang gusto akong maging doktor kasi deep in my heart parang yan o deep sorry. Yun, sorry. Hindi <laughs> <sorry, sorry. laughs> parang yun kasi yung dinidikta na maganda. Uh, uh, yeah, maganda yeah. to pag doktor. Yeah. Yeah. Yes sir. Kapag tatanungin ko talaga yung sarili ko ano ba gusto ko? Like si Jake parang hindi naman ako yung sobrang bababa ng gauge. Parang okay naman, nandun naman. Pero, pag chinect mo yung kung ano ba yung gusto ko sa boy, parang di ako sure. Mm-hmm. So, parang nakaka-relate ako kay Zeke nun. And what I realize is, sobrang nakikita natin yung good na minsan nalilito na tayo kung ano yung gusto natin. For example, ako, meron kasi mga bata like si Kuya Carl na nung bata pa lang gusto niya na na <laughs> nasa media. ASMR? Di ba? Kuwara si, ayan, nung bata siya ang hobby niya mag-ayos ng mag-ayos ng stage ganun mm-hmm. gumawa ng stage siya papel ganun pero for me parang al- ang alam ko lang noon mag magpatintero maglaro sa labas mm-hmm. yung para mag-enjoy lang pero if long term is parang wala yeah. na parang shocks oh nga ano, ano ba and parang same na na pressure in a sense na parang yung mga gusto ng parents ko kasi papa ko engineer mga kuya ko engineer So, it's either gusto nila architect or engineer. Parang gusto nila yun sa akin. Na, uh, kung hindi ako magdo-doktor. Uh, mm-hmm. Pero nung at the end, parang, parang, shucks, parang ayoko. Mm-hmm. I tried, pero parang ayoko. In relation to that, sa mga taong ganun, ano kaya mapapaya mo sa kanila na parang gusto naman nila itry hanapin yung purpose nila or calling. Pero, paano, paano mo mabahanap? Parang clueless sila. O, oh, clueless. Oh, paano ba? Paano? Oh, bago mo sagutin, ako... I just wanna also put a balance to it na syempre all all parents na nagmamahal sa mga anak nila would really want the best, the best. for their yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. And minsan kasi kaya yung mga recommendation nila ganun mag-doctor ka, mag-engineer ka kasi yeah. sa sa demographics ng Pilipinas yeah. itong mga trabaho na to yun talagang mm-hmm. nag- umaasenso sa yeah. buhay. Mm-hmm. And yung pinanggalingan kasi na generation ng mga magulang natin they all need to strive Yeah, to true. prove something to the world. Mm-hmm. And they somehow 
feel like they wanna pass that on to their kids. Yeah. yeah. Ngayon naman, relatively, ah, I'm not saying all, pero if we will limit it to this table, all of us, at least to a certain point, live comfortably. Meaning, mm. hindi natin kinailangan na na paghirapan na makakain ng tatlong meals sa isang araw. Mm. So, parang nandun tayo sa part na iniisip natin, ano yung gusto talaga natin? Mm. Hindi yung ano yung kailangan ng pamilya ko. Mm. Para makabili kami ng bigas at saka ulam. Yeah. So, talagang, because of, I think, because of that generational uh, transition, uh, mas dumadami na yung option or meron na tayong capacity to think for ourselves kung mm. ano talaga yung gusto natin. Mm. Pero at the same time, as the options increase, the more difficult it is to actually pick what you like. Mm-hmm. Na parang meron mga ibang tao na dumating sa point na sobrang daming magandang option, nahihirapan naman silang mamili ngayon. So either way, uh, may struggle kung ikaw yung klase ng bata na lumaki na may pinipilit sa na ito yung kuhanin mo. Pero... Yung iba din naman na malaya, nagsa-struggle din kasi kahit na sila na yung mamimili for themselves, ang dami naman choices. Ang dami naman masyadong choices. So either way, it's it's a battle yeah. between what you like and what other people like. Mm-hmm. Or it's a battle between so many things presented to you and not knowing what to actually pick. Mm-hmm. And for those people, na ako, ito yung masasabi ko sa akin, for those people who are in that, doon muna dun sa part 1, na kung may pinipilit sa inyo yung parents nyo, ako, to be honest, ang opinion ko dyan is, ang kailangan natin pag-focusan at bigyan ng appreciation is ganun nila tayo kamahal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na ganun na lang yung pagmamahal sa atin na meron sila talagang eager na mag- maging maayos yung buhay natin. Yeah. But also, meron kasing line yan eh. Kunyari, 40 years old ka na, dinidiktahan ka pa rin sa gusto mo. Siyempre, you have to draw that line and pick for yourself. Yeah. May tawag dun eh. Ano sa yun? Greek? Bonjing? Bonjing? Yeah. Uh, Bonjing. <laughs> Paan ba yung ano ng bonjing? Mga Bonjour. features ng bonjing. 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 Yeah, sa so France. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Ayun, so, <laughs> may, mabalik ako. So, there's a point where you can respect their opinion and their recommendations, but there will be co- there will be a point in your life where you you will really have to pick for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Kasi at the end of the day, whatever choice you make, ikaw yun. Ikaw mm-hmm. yung mag-aaral ng course, ikaw yung magre-review, mm-hmm. ikaw yung pupunta sa school, ikaw yung mag-thesis, ikaw yung mag-exam. Y- you gotta pick. But you have to also respect and understand your parents. Yes. Ngayon, para naman dun sa mga nahihirapang pumili. And ako, I'm amazed. Kasi ako, yung, yung, gaya na sabi ni RJ, ako yung tipo ng bata na alam ko na agad yung gusto ko. Eh. Pero may mga bata talaga na, alam mo yun, nung growing up, pinag-taekwondo, pinag-swimming, pinag-painting, pinag pinag-voice pinag lesson. Nung nan- nasa point na sila na magdideset sila, nahihirapan na sila. They don't know. Um, and for me, it's a journey to discover what you really like. Yeah, yeah. And do yeah. not do not pin your identity to a certain job yeah. description. Yeah. Yes. Kasi minsan, kaya litong-lito yung mga tao. Mm-hmm. They think that who they are is boxed within a job description. Yeah. Na parang magiging ano ba ako? Mabuting tao. Pwede naman 'yan eh. Now, that's what you want, to be a good person. Mm-hmm. You want to be a good son, you want to be mm-hmm. a good father. Brother. Pero sometimes we define who we're going to be to a job description. To a title na, ah, magiging doktor ako. Mm. Iyon ako. Ito lang. Oh. Ito lang. Na parang, na para bang kung hindi ka nakapag-decide kung anong trabaho ang gusto mo, somehow you're lost. Uh-huh. But that's not really the case. The job that you pick is an important factor of your life, but that should not be the determining factor of how you define yourself. Yeah. yeah. Ganun. Like, so, discovering the job that you wanna do is a journey. And it could change over time. Yeah. And ako, I don't judge people who would switch from, say, from being a psych major to a vlogger, I, don't, yeah. I, I will not judge that. If that's mm-hmm, yeah. where yeah, they yeah. find their passion, if yeah. that's where they're fo- they found their purpose, if that's how they're reaching out to more people, I, I really don't mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero yung iba na, you're being pressured because you don't have a fixed job title that you want to pursue. You're stuck. I'm saying yeah. don't. I mean, there are so many things that you can still work on with yourself, even without the job title. You can work on discipline. You can work on fitness. You can work on your uh, creativity, your skills, whatever that is, your hobbies. And dami yung parte ng buhay natin na pwede mo pang i-work out without being pressured to determine ano ba ako, doctor ba ako, engineer ba ako, ano first to be. So don't be too hard on yourself, but allow the journey. Allow, allow yourself to journey through that uh, discovery. 
So, going back to you, G. Ano naman na masasabi mo sa mga taong lost in translation? Bago kong kukwento, yung sinabi niya, that's true. There's a balance in everything. Uh, and also, we don't want to un- antano- antagonize the yung, yung generation bago tayo. Mm-hmm. No? Kasi ngayon, uso na diba, we crucify them. Hindi na kasi alam, ganyan, mm-hmm. invalidate nyo sa amin. Some, but again, not all. Diba? Yeah. And again, there's a context to why they did those things that they have to do. Kasi kahit tayo nandun, we would do the same. No? Yeah. And that's true. Our parents love us. Even ako eh, uh, yung parents, parents ko din, mal, di naman din nila kasi alam anong calling true, mo. True, true. So, they have to do what they have to do yeah. to look out for you. Lahat ng available options. And yeah. all they can do is guide. But at the end of the day, it's night. And the, at, the <laughs> <end of> the, <laughs> at the end of the day, true, it's still a personal journey. And my journey, may common denominator. But again, hindi pang, ganun sa kaganda eh, it's personal. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. meron, Mabilis lang, meron akong kaklase, nagtanong siya sa akin, anong pipiling ko, yung gusto ko o yung gusto ng parents ko? Eh, may third option. Again, it's, it's your calling. Your calling. Kasi, para sa akin to ah. Kasi dun, dun ako, yung ever since ang hinaing ko sa buhay, anong purpose ko? Kasi parang jack of all trades ako lumaki. But yung lahat, na, nakukuha nila yung, parang, alam mo yun, kay Maslow, yung self-actualization nila. Ah, anong nakuha nila yun? Ano sa akin, yung purpose ko? Kasi pinagsisiksikan ko yung buhay uh, ako sa kahit anuman. Mm-hmm. Kasi I'm still finding my identity on what I'm trying to do. Which mm-hmm. is not the case. Naging famous ka sa YouTube. At isa sa mga nai-enjoy ko talaga panoorin is when you uh, try to copy your mom. So ano ba yung mga, <laughs> ano ba sa tingin mo yung mga traits ng, ng, ng Pinoy na parang nakakatawa pero hindi nakakatawa? Parang ganun. <laughs> Kasi uh-huh. I'm sure marami na nag-comment sa YouTube mo. marami ng uh, marami ng reaction sa'yo. So, i-share mo naman sa amin yung mga feeling mo, mga mga traits nating mga Pinoy na parang dapat yata nating i-acknowledge, uh, i-adjust. Yeah. Right. Wait, nang nanayo tayo? Kahit sino. Kahit oh, man. Well, sa generation natin, no? alam ko kasi ganun ako eh. Uh. Lalo na yung generation daw natin mas matalino kesa sa former. Which uh. is, I agree. We uh. are more exposed to information. Mm-hmm. But, Uh, medyo pagdating sa values, alam mo yun. Mm. Kasi, pag tama tayo, sasagot tayo sa mga parents natin, di ba? Mm. Kasi, ganun na ako minsan. Sorry, God. <laughs> so, I think that, nakakatawa, pag-usapan, pero, um, hindi siya, it's not good, you know? Mm. Kasi, I still believe na, uh, sabi niya, substance over status. Mm. Values over knowledge, you know? Mm. Wisdom over knowledge. Oh, sorry, character over intellect. Uh-huh. na yung intellect ngayon masyado siyang nag-glorify as if it is your mm-hmm. status. Pag mas mm-hmm. matalino ka, mas woke ka, angat ka sa hierarchy ng lipunan. Which is not the case. Mm-hmm. Ang importante, uh, ito, ngayon ko lang din na-realize, keng, sa kamampahan, kababan, humility. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ang tatalino natin, hindi tayo marunog mahal, magpatawad, mag-honor. Walang values. Mm-hmm. Sa- sabi nga ni uh, the late Dr. Ravi, Sabi niya, intellect without values can only make a clever devil. No? Mm-hmm. It's ironic. Sa panahon, sa generation natin, so very, very, uh, very antatalino. Intelligent. Mm-hmm. Lalo na sa TikTok, meron akong nine years old na bata. Alam niya na yung, uh, alam niya na yung laro ng politics. Nine years old. Mm-hmm. Nine years old. Pepa Pig dapat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Punch Bob dapat. It's, it's good na intellect, but again, values. And values, GMRC, regardless of your faith, that yung character mo maayos. Ito yung nakita ko na so much knowledge yet not much wisdom, not much character. Kaya ako lagi nagpapasurvey sa Instagram kasi uh, ang dami rin sumasagot na na-realize nila. O nga, no? And even for me, that's for me actually. Intellect is not everything, di ba? Yun yung arrogance ng intellect. Yet, walang modo, bastos. E, alam mo yun, bilang part ng kabataan, We have to honor our elders. Yung honor, mm-hmm. it it doesn't mean I have to agree with everything you say. Yeah. I honor the same position. And I have mm-hmm. to do that. Sure. Yeah. Like, Kung yun hindi mo alam, paan babaguhin yung nation? Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Doon sa malilit na yun, malilit, yun nga yung malalaki. Humility. Kaya, kaya mo magpatawad. Kaya mo magmahal ng enemy mo. Kung hindi ka, hindi ka marunong, dinadaan mo sa intellect, kaya kami rasyam-syam. Yeah, ay, sorry. Hindi ka, ka makakarating yung malayo. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. 
And I guess it, it's interesting to dive on this topic, the value of character mm. over being correct. Meron yung sabi na, you win the argument but you lose the soul. Yeah. yeah. True. And, status. uh, what is status? Ano? Status. Sure, sige, mm-hmm. i-cheat mo na nga. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, ang, ang, uh, tanong ko sa'yo is, how do you stay humble but also knowledgeable of the, of the circumstances and being opinionated and being strong about your thoughts but also humble and uh, respectful and honoring people that's de- that deserves honor. Paano mo na pag mix yun together? Because that's kind of challenging. Mm, that's my question, Char. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, yan din yung dealing niya ng next gen, next gen bro. Eh. Kasi a lot of kids are so attuned and exposed to a lot of uh, issues. Social, cultural issues, politics, DDS, Dilawanj, Scarborough Shoal. Tapos nag-break si Doggy at si Chicks. Pati yun, updated sila. Uh, right? Mm-hmm. Which is good. Which is good. But again, we have to bloom where we are planted. Right? To be effective, you have to be effective on your own little sphere. We all start with our own influences, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sabi nga Nate, kung salan, not not everyone is called to be an influencer, but everyone has an influence. Yeah. So, responsibility mo, kung nasan ka man, mm. make an impact din. Mm. But it is also good na aware ka sa malalaking topic. But paano ka mapupunta doon? Trabawin mo yun dyan. Mm. No? Yeah. It's a verse, di ba? Those who are faithful in the small things will be faithful in the big things. Luke uh-huh. 16.10. That principle is, the small things are the big things as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Kaya nga, sabi nga ni Peterson, di ba? Before you change the world, fix your bed. Yeah. Anong mas madali? Baguhin mo yung nation, makipagbati ka sa kapatid mo. Na matagal kayong debat eh. Mm. Hirap na na. Awkward. Yeah. Mm. Mag- magpasorry ka sa nanay mo, nagalit ka. Uli, tuman, madali. Ang dami namamatay sa labas. Tama, I agree. Pero, again. But kung kung papunta ka dun, ito, dapat ito solve mo na. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot skip that. Mm. Alam, ba't, ba't ganun? Kasi ganun ako eh. <laughs> yeah, good. Tatay ko, ma- ngayon lang kami nagiging close. Ngayon ko lang siya na-appreciate. Nanay ko, ngayon ko lang sila na mamahal. O, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yun yung b- big things din yun eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hindi ako galit. Hindi ako sa'yo. Grabe. Parang, hindi, natamime na lang ako. Oo, oh, ako uh, din. Eh. Wow, I'm learning so much. Uh-huh. And, parang, initially, with this discussion, we wanted to discuss parang ano yung mga toxicity inside their families. Yeah. Because usually people on social media are vocal about toxic family traits, ganyan. Which are valid, you know. Ako, I have a lot of a lot of observations sa family namin. <laughs> <laughs> Sarap ba? <laughs> Marami ang observation kahit sa within my own family that I don't like and I feel like it's toxic. But at the end of the day, before we even go to the world, uh, exclaiming about all these toxic things that we need to address as a society and, and and all that stuff. Here comes Jericho talking about if you can't deal within your own circle, yeah. mm-hmm. how do you expect to deal with the bigger circle? Yeah. Yeah. Parang if you yeah. cannot yun, if you cannot really work on your own character, who gives us the right to dictate to other people how should they behave, how they should mm-hmm act how should they decide what they what they should pick all that stuff mm. so sobrang insightful non bro mm. na i remember uh, yung sinabi mo na uh, yung simpleng bagay uh, like pagpapatawad we don't hear so much of that anymore mm. yeah right yung pagpapakumbaba mm. ngayon pataasan eh pagalingan yung uh, yes sir pag o honor sa mga nakakatanda is that still some... Hindi na yon uso eh. Yes, sir. And parang, I think that's what we need as a generation to bring back these values mm. na parang nalaos kasi may masumikat na ibang hype. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun? Na parang... Preach it. Na, na parang uso ngayon mag-complain so mag-complain lahat. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi na, hindi na uso yung we, we honor our parents publicly that we exclaim about how hardworking they were even though they were OFWs. May mga ganun. Ako, ako personally, I have to confess, yes, minsan sir. may tampo ako sa tatay ko na parang, I grew up without you. But there, a flip side to that is, you worked so hard so that I could mm. live a comfortable life. I could yeah. take all the lessons, all the enhancements, all the medicine for me to live normally. 
Ganyan. So, tingin ko nga eh, um, some of the younger people today, parang hindi naman lahat. Mm. Uh, when when we talk about toxic Filipino traits, parang they're, they're so against those things. Uh, to, to, a point, to a certain point na minsan sila na rin yung toxic. Yeah, yeah. yeah true. If we become honest within ourselves, kailangan din tumating sa point na aminin natin na naging toxic din uh, tayo. Naging yeah. toxic yeah, na true. din yung pag-iisip natin, how we, how we look, kung, kung ano yung mga sinasabi ng parents natin sa atin. Mm. Parang nawawal, nawawalan na rin tayo ng intention na makinig sa kanila. Diba? Mm. Mm. And marami, marami tayong matututunan sa mga magulang natin. And mm. ako, parang uh, on, on my personal experience, um, hindi kasi sa akin pina, pinlant yung dapat maging ganito, dapat maging engineer ka, ganyan, dapat maging doktor ka, dapat maging piloto ka. Hindi kasi ganun yung naging setup sa amin. So sa amin, kung ano yung na, na, na discover ko sa sarili ko, hinayaan lang ako. Nakatapos ako ng college, tapos dumating rin sa point na parang clueless din ako. Okay, natapos ko na. So ano natapos na? Ko, so ano na? Mm. <laughs> Is this the end? Thank you God. <laughs> for this life. <laughs> Pero ano, I will still look to the days na tinuturuan ako ng magulang ko na magsulat. Mm-hmm. I will still look to the days na hinahatid ako ng, ng tatay ko sa school. Kasi those, 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 those were the little things that contributed to where I am today. Yeah. And maybe, may mga bagay lang talaga na, na hindi tayo... Ano pwede. Tayo dito? Hindi tayo pwede. <laughs> may mga bagay lang talaga na na-experience natin like yung mapagsabihan tayong konti, di ba? Pero, if, if we'll focus on hindi dun sa toxic na Philippine na, na family traits, if we focus dun sa strength nung, 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 nung isang pamilya, nung isang basic unit, I guess, mas magagamit natin yun para mag-excel pa sa buhay. Hmm. Yun pa yung mas hmm. magpupush sa atin forward. Yeah. And hindi maging regressive. Kasi parang ganun yung nangyayari ngayon. Yung mga bata ngayon, sinisisi yung nakaraan. Uh-huh. Ano kaya ang makikita natin kinabukasan? De, yung mga anak naman natin, sinisisi tayo. Uh-huh. And we uh-huh. have to stop that culture. Yeah, yeah. true, true. Na true. Regressive nice. yung, dapat progress, nagpa-progress tayo. Yeah. 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 Just connecting everything we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Ang narealize ko lang is, how come we live in a world where we're now able to express our feelings and emotions freely and we're, we're not so afraid of people judging our rants and our complaints about kasi dati bawal talaga mag-complain eh. diba bawal sumagot ganyan pero ngayon ka sa asin ngayon ka, oh, kapag ka sinabi mo na na pwede ba wag mo ko tatanungin kailan ako magkakajowa ngayon cool yun eh na somehow you, you call out your, your family members to say don't ask me kung tumaba ako or pumayat ako Now it's accepted, diba? Now, once you assert what you think, lalo na yung ano, that's acceptable. Yeah, it's acceptable. Oh, yeah. Pero, how come na the more that we get what we want, when you really look at the temperature of mm. of our emotions in this generation, are we actually a happier generation? Mm. Or are we more depressed? Yes, sir. Or are we more anxious? Yes, sir. When we get what we want. Yeah. When we finally dictate to people, I want to look this way, I want to dress this way, I want this is what I want, respect me. But somehow, when you do get that, does it really satisfy? Yeah. Does it really make your family better? Mm. When you when you finally call out that toxic family member, does that in effect make your family more close and bonded or does that destroy the family altogether? Mm. So just to to put a balance to it. Ako, for example, ako na lang mag-share. Okay, and okay. you know, you can all crucify me for this if you want. <laughs> sure. One of the things that I hate is during family gatherings, and alam ni Josh to, kasi kinwento ko to kay Josh. One of the things that I hate is when people will keep asking me, kailan ako magkaka-girlfriend, magkakasawa? Kailan ba? <laughs> <laughs> At least hindi, hindi family member. Uh, mm. Now, hear me out. This is why I don't like it. Uh. I feel like sometimes my presence is summarized to I'm single. Mm. And somehow, parang, there are so many things happening in my life. And somehow, that is your question. Mm. 
like you can ask for so many other things. Mm-hmm. Like I'm doing so well with my life. Doing so well with my fitness, doing so well with my career, doing so well. And yet, you just happen to ask why I'm single. Mm-hmm. As if, really? There's no other question? Mm-hmm. And so, I really feel frustrated. And sometimes, that's why I don't join family gatherings. Because I feel like that's toxic. Mm-hmm. But now, I'm thinking about it. Is that really toxic? Mm-hmm. When people say, oh, pumayat ka, uy, parang tumaba ka, I hate that also. Na parang so, talaga ba? Hindi mo tatanungin kung kamusta ako the past year. Talagang yung itsura ko yung napansin mo. Alam mo yung pinagdaanan ko? Ba't tumaba ko? Mga gano'n. Exactly. <laughs> Alam mo ba? Exactly. Asan ka? And, oh, gano, and we call gano. that toxic, di ba? Toxic na nga. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I, I get it. I hate it also. But the more I think about it, what if that's their effort to really connect to us? Because they, they don't have any words to say. Preach it, because sir. they're tiptoeing kung anong sasabihin nila. Mm. And since that's the most obvious, that's what they ask. Mm. Right? Parang they're not gonna dive into, oh, were you depressed last night? Wala ah, ah, naman gano'n ah, na ah, kainan. Ah, ah, o oh, kamusta? Ah, choose ka ba ngayon? Ah, diba? Hindi ah, naman ah, gano'n eh. Yeah, so yeah, parang, ang, ang point ko lang is, yes, there are toxic family, Filipino family traits. But sometimes, we also need to look into bakit ba yun? Bakit ba sila ganun? Mm. Bakit ba ganun yung template ng mga tanungan nila? Mm-hmm. And I think it's okay to to tell them how we feel. Na parang, okay lang ba next time mag muna akong tanungin? Mm-hmm. Iba na lang. Tanungin mo ang favorite color ko ngayon. Baka nagbago eh. <laughs> Di ba? Pwede naman na ganun eh. Pero not in a way na we're canceling them because you ask the wrong questions. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your, uh, your yeah. questions are so uncool. Therefore, you're canceled. Mm-hmm. Don't go to our family dinner. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Eh, minsan ganun eh. Minsan ganun na yung dating natin. Hmm. Na parang we're, we're not honoring older yeah. people. And we're not honoring family members. Just because they don't adhere to the ideologies that we now embrace. Yes, yeah, sir. And I think, for me, that's something that we can encourage our listeners now. Yep. Na posible, okay, kaya ng utak natin na mag-embrace ng mga bagong ideologies but at the same time to still honor and respect people yeah. that are older than us that are that uh have sacrificed so that we can get to where we are now yun share ko lang yeah. can i share very quick yeah. no that's true lalo na sa panahon ngayon marami ng culture culture di ba mm-hmm. blank culture cancel culture and all kaya nga may toxic eh kasi we expect perfection mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right okay. and we're so we uh, naiipon yung offenses natin na actually kahit ako eh tumaba ka pero you know, habang tumatagal, parang pambira, ba't ako na-offend doon? Kasi I, I was already offended years ago, naiipon. Mm-hmm. And we're expecting perfection from people who are not even perfect. Complicated. Diba? Sobrang complex at complicated ng buhay. Kahit sila may problema. Maano pa ba natin? Can we look beyond ourselves and understand? No. Kasi we're already preoccupied with ourselves. Mm-hmm. And we expect perfection from people. Yeah. And ang pinag-uusapan lang natin, truth. Diba? Mali ka, mali ka, mali ka. Which is true. Mm-hmm. But again, sa... Ito lang ha, I don't wanna sound preachy. Truth is easy. But love, you're looking for perfection. Where do you get that? What covers all wrongs? How do you honor people who are even wrong? And how do you love, uh, how do you uh, make friends with your enemies? Love. Kaya nga, love and truth. Sabi din ni Peterson, love is wanting everyone to flourish. It's not, it's, it doesn't mean na magpapatalo ka. It doesn't mean that you condone their wrongs. It doesn't mean that. Truth na yun eh. Alam mo na na mali sila eh. Mali ka din eh. But love. Again, but how can you give that if you don't even have? So, love. Love covers all wrongs. It's not a perfect world. You are not perfect. Yeah. Diba? Pag nagkaanak ka, magre-reklamo din sa yan. Mm-hmm. Hindi man mapapaintindi. Mm-hmm. Tapos, i-call out ka din ng sarili mong anak sa Twitter. <laughs> Kasi, di ka perfecto eh. Di rin siya perfecto. Mm-hmm. But love. Yeah. Puro truth. How do we balance things? Love. Yeah. So simple yet so hard to do. Yeah. So sublime. Because love is not a feeling. It's transcendental. You have to get it from above, baby. Oh. Hey! Ding, 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 ding! And also, yung natutunan ko sa mga sinasabi nyo is parang yung intelligence natin should not make us ig- Ag- arrogant. arrogant yeah. But rather, it should make us more understanding mm-hmm. and respectful Galing. and nakakapag- nakakapag-empathize tayo sa tao. Kasi yeah. dahil mas matalino tayo, 
dapat mas naiintindihan natin mm-hmm. sa kanila. Na, mm-hmm. yun nga, yung sinabi mo na kahit manalo ka sa argument, pero nakalose ka ng soul. Yeah. So, what's mm-hmm. the point? Parang, being honest, ganun ako minsan na parang meron kasi akong sakit na parang lagi na ako pag-compete. Uh, Dahil mm-hmm. pag nasanay ka kasi sports, mm-hmm. di ba ganun? Kasi lumaki din ako puro sports. Mm-hmm. Eh. Checkers. So, parang, <laughs> laging, <laughs> laging gusto mo panalo ka. Mm-hmm. Pero sometimes, yung pagiging panalo mo ba, panalo ba yun na kasama yung mga tao sa paligid mo o panalo lang uh, sa'yo? Mm. Kung sa'yo lang, parang, Anong point do you point really na? count it as win? Mm. Or win for yourself and lose for the others? Mm. So, and lastly, uh, yung natutunan ko is, parang, yung parents natin, wala naman sila nung information and training na meron tayo ngayon, na available mm-hmm. for us. Yeah. So parang sometimes yung approach nila sa atin isn't because they're a bad person, yeah. bad people, but, yung approach nila is yung alam lang nila. Yeah. And yeah. parang there's no harm in telling them, in expressing your feelings na ito yung ayaw ko, ito yung gusto ko. Mm-hmm. And all. Kasi ako personally, doon ako nahirapan. So yun yung na-realize. Correct, correct. Um, communication. Is yeah, communication yeah. is so, ano, uh, Yung humility din talaga. Uh-huh. Na parang, ang hirap kasi, di ba, pagka yung magmamahal ka ng kaaway mo or magmamahal ka ng tao na pangit naman yung pag-approach. Hey, paano, paano umamahalin yung mga ganun? Mm-hmm. And I guess talaga, doon mag-start sa humbleness mo na mamahalin mo yung mga tao kahit na pangit yung sila. Kumari, may mga tina- tinatanong sa'yo na medyo off ka, ganun. Mm-hmm. Yung humility din na yun kasi parang pwede din siya mag-arrive doon sa pag meet nyo halfway. Mm-hmm. Kagaya ng sabi ni Kuya Carl kanina, di ba? Parang katanungin nyo ako, ang parang ang pangit naman dating sa akin tatanungin niyo kung meron na pa akong girlfriend ganyan pero kung ibababa niyo yung walls niyo eh hey. ibababa mo yung walls yes, wall sir. mo mm. mas magkakaintindihan kayo eh parang mm. mas magkakaroon kayo ng opportunity to meet halfway na mm. ay shucks parang gusto niya talaga makikonek kaya lang uh, hindi niya alam kung paano kasi ano yung right words may, oo, uh. ano yung right words ano yung tamang pag-approach eh tsaka tama yung sabi ni RJ eh kasi may nagsabi sa akin na alam mo ba, ano, ma- sobrang blessed ng generation nyo kasi meron kayong mga mga tools, meron kayong mga right people na nakakausap para mas maging better person kayo, maging better parents kayo kasi kami wala talaga. Mm-hmm. So parang ako, ang, ang thinking ko ngayon, Doon ako nang doon ako. Galing. Oo, doon ako nang gagaling na shocks gagamitin ko tong mga tools na to para mas maging yeah. better mm-hmm. and para mas ma, mas ma-share ko yung yung mga natutunan ko na to mm-hmm. sa mga iba kong kakilala sa mga generation ko. Mm-hmm. Para yung generation yung mga toxic na nasa isip natin, mas stop na. Mm-hmm. By not ayoko niya, ayoko kasi niyan, pero by understanding kung saan nanggagaling yung mga magulang natin, mm-hmm. kung saan nanggagaling mga older mm-hmm. generation. So speaking yeah. of communication, ako isa sa mga best examples na nakita ko of how uh, someone worked out their communication within their family is with Japs. Because Japs is a relatively quiet guy. But eventually, uh, eventually <laughs> you, work, you were able to work that out, di ba, Japs? Na nakakaroon na kayo ng regular talks with family. Ganyan. So, share mo naman sa amin a little bit. Like, ano yung mga effort na sinimulan mo mm-hmm. to start opening up to your, to your family yeah. members? Actually, ano, nag-start talaga yung parang communication sa family namin nung nagka-pandemic. Mm. Kasi nasa bahay lang kami lahat. And hindi talaga ako nag-initiate nun, yung mm. sister ko. Mm. Pero may part din naman ako na sabi ko, what if, ano, try naman natin na kumain ng sabay-sabay since wala na tayong reason para hindi magsabay-sabay kasi yeah. nasa hindi bahay na lang tayo eh. Uh. Di ba? Kasi dati, okay, ano, maintindihan mo eh, na hindi kayo magsasabay-sabay kasi busy talaga ako sa buhay. So, Isa lang nasa bahay, nasa labas lahat. Pero since pandemic, nasa bahay kayo. Sabi ko, try naman natin na ano, kumain ng sabay-sabay. Yeah. Kasi ano ka talaga kami, busy kaming person lahat. Mm-hmm. May kanya-kanyang career kami, so hindi, hindi kami nakapagkita, hindi kami nakapag-usap. So, yun talaga yung time lang para makapag-catch up kami. Mm-hmm. Is kung kakain kami ng sabay-sabay. Yeah. Ayun lang, sabi ko, isang oras lang yun. Mm-hmm. Or ilang minutes lang, 30 minutes lang. So, bakit hindi tayo magsabay-sabay? So, parang doon na siya nag-start. Mm-hmm. Tapos sinimula namin yung vlog, kami mm-hmm. magkakapatid para magkaroon kami ng bonding mm-hmm. kahit once a week lang yun. Mm-hmm. Kasi dami namin ginagawa. Yung yeah. vlog na yun, once a week lang yun, pero ang laki nung parang effect. naging uh, effect uh, sa uh, amin. So, ayun nga, gaya nung pinag-uusapan natin kanina, dahil lang siya sa small effort. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tapos malaki yung 
effect. Effect. Uh-huh. Great. So, parang small creative ways to yeah. connect mm. to your family. Mm. And ako, also, I wanna appreciate my dad. Kasi, yung, yung si Papa, ang lagi lang yung tanong, balita. <laughs> oh, ano balita? And sometimes, it irritates me kasi parang, manood ka lang balita. Ganun, di ba? Parang, ano ba balita gusto mo? Kasi, pero hindi lang niya masabi kasi directly. Kasi nga, hindi sila, nung generation nila, hindi sila sa mga express ng, ng feelings. So, kanyari, oh, kamusta ka na? Anong, anong nararamdaman mo ngayon? Pagod ka ba? Sa kanila. Oo, parang, oh, uh, balita. Oo, oh, siya. Boss, balita. Oh, alam balita. mo na yun eh. Pero kung iisipin mo, parang chance mo na yun para mag-share. Oo oh. oh, nga, eh, kanina nga, oh, okay, ano, may ginawa yeah. kami. Eh. Oh. Ah, okay lang yan. Oo. Oh. <laughs> eh ako, eh ako, anong balita? Minsan, dahil nga hindi ako, hindi ako, tawag dito? Com- hindi, comfy sa ganung approach. Oo, or parang hindi ako uh, deliberate. Paano ba yung approach gusto mo? In making that connection. <laughs> Kware ako yun. Par- <laughs> balita, okay naman. Ayos naman, same pa din. Ganun, uh, minsan ganun ako. Pero ngayon na pinag-uusapan natin, nare-realize ko na effort pala yun ng tatay ko to connect uh, with me. And ako, na, ako, ako pala yung suplado na parang, <laughs> Okay naman, yan. Ang balita, eh di yung parang kanina pa din. Kasi parang, oh, saan ka pupunta? Punta ako sa ganito. Tapos pag uwi mo, oh, anong balita? Ayun, napinanggalingan ko. Yung sinabi ko din sa'yo kanina. Parang ganun. Pero, uh, that's their effort to connect. Yeah. Kaya lang, yun yan, lumaki sila sa generation na are not able to, they're, they're not welcome to express their emotions because siguro sa generation nila, being too emotional is is equal to being unmanly. Ganyan. Pero now in our generation na tanggap na natin na pagka nag-express ka ng feelings mo, it doesn't make you less of a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tayo, we're very, very touchy-feely, comfy mm-hmm. guys. We can say, I love you to another guy without feeling cringy. Mm-hmm. Pero for them, parang, parang, uh-huh. parang yung, kahit sabihin ako ng tatay ko na I love you, parang, may ganun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Man, you too, pa. Parang ganun, di ba? Pero, kasi uh-huh. that's, that's, that's their generation. Mm-hmm. Eh. So parang, mm-hmm. it takes effort from both generations to actually work this relationship mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And what I realized, and I'm I'm gonna summarize this whole talk with this: mere intelligence could cause you to be arrogant, but finding real wisdom could actually make you really humble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. like what RJ, if you really truly see and understand, what you're gonna find out is that they may be wrong, but there's also so many toxic traits about you. Yeah. Yeah. And you will never get to a point of arrogance to point that out boldly. Mm-hmm. So, Because there's a huge plank in your eye. Parang sabi nga, di ba, sa Bible na, how dare you correct a speck in, in your brother's eye and not see the huge plank that you have. Yeah. The more self-aware you become, the more uh, careful you are, aware, understanding aware. that you need the same understanding yeah. and the same consideration and the same grace and yeah. forgiveness yeah. that you're not giving them. Yeah. Mm. So the more you understand and the more you really have and embrace wisdom, the mm-hmm. more humble you become. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you become humble, that's the starting point of mm-hmm. true. Not just a good relationship, but maturity, uh, leadership, growing, yeah. yes, all that stuff. Yeah. Yes, yes. Tama ba, yeah. That's crazy. Nah, So much ano, wisdom. And, uh, yeah. di ka, di busog doon, na. Busog na kayo doon. <laughs> <laughs> And also, shout out sa mga dads namin. Yes. Mahal, mahal po namin. Yes. Bro, we just want to appreciate you for yeah. your time. Thank Actually, ang dami pang topics kaya lang. Sobra. Si Nick oh. na lang tingin na sa atin. Oh, <laughs> super Nick, sorry. overtime na tayo. Super overtime. <laughs> Three days na daw tong podcast na tayo. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Actually, intro so, pa lang yun. Sumikita na uli oh. yung araw sa labas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero bro, we appreciate your humility. I yeah. think yep. that we... When when you started sharing about your real life situation, mm-hmm. it kind of, you know, caused us to be also really honest with yeah. our I'm current sorry. family situations. Apparently, our families aren't as perfect as you see on social media, mm-hmm. um, and not we're not the good sons that you probably think we are. We're mm-hmm. also flawed. The black we're sheep. also <laughs> we're also pasaway. We're also sometimes Makulets. we take our parents for granted, and this is us. Commonly, as yeah. we talk, realizing our mistakes mm-hmm. and learning from that and making an effort. Again, ang ginagawa ni Japs to connect with parents, to love them, mm-hmm. to appreciate them, and to honor the generation before us. Jericho, thank you very much. We've learned so much from you, thank bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, we hope that you guys learn from this podcast yes. also. And uh, we will see you in the next one. This has been Cuento Juan. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.
Alright, pero dahil, you know, we want to make this moment more special. Uh, meron yes. kami nandang very quick activity for you. Yes, sir. Sobrang quick. Ang tawag dito ay fast talk. Fast talk. Wow. wow. So, we're gonna ask you questions. <laughs> and the first thing that comes to your head, you should say it. Say it. Okay? I got you, sir. Pag hindi ka nakasagot, babayaran mo tong pizza na to. Ito ba? Joke lang. Joke lang. Paano kung yung nagtatanong yung nabubulan? Siya magbabayad. Kailangan mo na ano? Humility. Humility and love. Humility and love. Okay. Ready? Yes. Ready. Oh, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Josh, ikaw pa ganun dito. Hindi, si Kikaw. You first. Ako ba? Sorry. You first. I'm obligated myself. Humility. Okay, count again. Count again. Humility. You first. Oh, say sorry. Say sorry. I'm humbling myself. Oh, Can apologetic. you forgive? What's the yeah. problem with your generation? Oh. Oh. Why? Huh? Huh? Hot dog. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, five, four, three, two. Who do you look up to? <laughs> Who do you look up to? Huh? Who do you look up to? You. Wow. <laughs> Famous or low, low profile? Low profile. House or car? Car. Local celebrity crush? Japs. <laughs> Maganda o matalino? Hmm. Matalino. <laughs> Madaldal o tahimik? Tahimik. Risk taker or play safe? Risk taker. Morena or mistisa? Hali. <laughs> Mis- ano yung ano? Mistisa. Morena. Morena. Pet peeve. Pets. <laughs> Sing or dance? Dance. Eight. Describe your dream girl. Dreamer. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. Jig is cute. <laughs> Short or tall? Short. Message to yourself five years ago. Tama na. <laughs> YouTube or Instagram? <laughs> YouTube. Ay, saan na po tayo? Ay, binato mo. Ah, ako na lang. Pugs and Teddy. <laughs> Joke. Pag-ibig or career? Pag- Oh, ah, love oh, life. Oh, no. Nauna mo na, pag-ibig oh, na. Touch mo. Kuripot o galante? Kuripot. <laughs> Saan ka pinakamahusay? Tulog. Kumain <laughs> 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 uh, Wala na, wala na. Ah, wala na. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Ah, 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 ah. Night or day? <laughs> Night. Coffee or milk? <laughs> Coffee. Cookies or cream? cream. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Mama or Papa? Both. Oh. Oh. Humility. Yes, yes, yes. Humility. The humans or the tools? The, <laughs> the ones, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stay in or stay, stay out? out. <laughs> stay in. Stay in. Up or down? <laughs> down, humility. Uh, mahal ka o mahal mo? Uh, mahal ako. Tuloy pa o hindi na? Hindi <laughs> na. <laughs> Over time. <laughs> Yay. Okay, thank you, Jake. Lolokohin ka, lolokohin mo. <laughs> <laughs> ano ba yun? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Jerry Marceo. Well, thank you, thank you. Maraming maraming marami salamat, bro. Thank you for uh, gracing you, this show. And sobrang dami namin natutunan sa'yo. Yeah. Oh, grabe. Literally. Yeah. Nakakahambol, makausap pa yung Jerry Marceo. <laughs> We've seen you uh, grow, but we re- ako, I really admire your, ano, your vulnerability, you uh-huh. being transparent yeah. sa lahat ng yeah. mga pinagdaanan mo. You are a blessing to this generation. And sana kahit pa paano guys, may natutunan kayo sa pag- sa kwentuhan namin yeah. ngayon. And make sure to comment everything that you want us to know, anything that you'd like to share also. At kung sino pa yung mga guests na gusto niyong invite namin dito sa show na to. And of course, don't, for- don't forget. Don't forget to, to subscribe. subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Forgive. Huh? Don't, don't subscribe to forget. <laughs> Oo, don't subscribe Uh-oh. to forget. <laughs> share this to your friends, subscribe to this channel, and see you in the next and, video. Yeah. And humility. And this is Cuento Juan. Ating token of Asian. We want to present to you Cuento Juan. Federation of the people of the legend. Bro, we appreciate you so much. Thank you, bro. Thank you for having us.